Well, the cleanup after flood damage continues. Yesterday, storms hit parts of Liberty, Hubbard, even Youngstown's north side. But as 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, one woman says this is nothing new in her neighborhood. She's getting tired of it. As downed trees and limbs litter side streets following Monday's late afternoon thunderstorms in Liberty, Patty Elliser has been through this before. It's frightening every time. I get sick to my stomach every time there's, there's storm warnings. Monday's storm hit just as Patty's family was finishing a Labor Day dinner. The lights started flickering and the wind was blowing and the lights went out. We lost power completely. And then the torrential rains came. Patty's daughter took this video of the rain blowing sideways. Within 10 minutes, she says this normally dry creek bed looked like a whitewater rapid, flooding her backyard and garage. At one point, Patty had to call police because water was pouring into her family room where her 98-year-old mother stays. They had to carry her up to the second floor. Patty tells me the flooding here has been a problem for decades and has grown worse over time as more development takes place in other parts of the township. You have all the cement and concrete up there and nowhere for the water to drain. We have no green areas anymore for the water to be absorbed. While she's asked officials to build a retention pond in the area, she's growing weary of having to go through this whenever there's a bad storm. The cleanup is taxing. I have to hire crews to take care of the cleanup in the backyard. For now, Patty worries someone will get hurt or killed in one of these flash floods before the problem is addressed. In Liberty, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.